on the climb, and it could start right here. Oh, Wow. Chase Outlaw stunned. You saw quickly. We're going to watch it back here. Watch the contact there. Colby, there's nothing in the world that compares to a shot like that. No, absolutely not. But this, you know, this I am incredibly excited to see Chase Outlaw back at this level. I'm 100% with you. I mean, we were there when he took that bad mm -hmm. shot. And man, it, it is so good. You know, thank God that he got back and has just, you know, been through, had a great surgery, got back. He looks great. Uh, he, he says he feels great. And I think he's riding good. I've seen him get on a few bulls uh, on his Instagram page. And, and I'm excited to see what he can do here because he's got a good one tonight. After off season shoulder surgery, his third shoulder surgery in the past two years, this is his first stop on the premier series it would have been sooner but colby you talked about it in the pre-show it was a gruesome wreck over the su summer where he needed that facial surgery yeah this was, i mean it was such a bad wreck it's just kind of a, a bad spot you know a wrong spot at the wrong time and uh it you know but for him to be here right now this is amazing facing switch hitter His first ride back goes the requisite eight. Welcome back, Chase. 68 screws and 11 plates in his face. The guys from 100X Helmets went all the way to his house, specially fit him for this helmet. There's not another one like it. He said, I'm never gonna ride again without a helmet. But here's the thing we've grown to love about Chase Outlaw. He doesn't need a lot of time to gain ground. Right now, he's just outside the top 70. Can he still get to Las Vegas? He rides like this. We know Chase Outlaw wins rounds. He keeps doing this. I think he's got an outside chance to get to the World Finals. You've waited all season long to get that ride on tour. How meaningful is it? Man, it's been a rough year, but without, ad without adversary or adversity, we wouldn't know what it's like when you do get on top. It feels better and when you had adversity to face and if it's easy, everybody do it. And I just praise God and my family and everybody that stood behind me. But it ain't over yet. We just got to take it one bullet at a time. It's good to see you back, Chase. Well done. Good to be seen. Craig. And it seemed in round one, he never lost his step. How did you mentally come back and never miss a beat after everything you've gone through and all the adversity you faced? Well, for one, I just keep the faith of God and myself. And I, I mean, I've been here. And, I mean, I rode here hundred, hundred, hundreds of times and still just had to tell myself, calm down, just ride my bull and do my job. And man, just happy to be back where I am, happy to be healthy again. And man, just gonna take it one bull at a time and just, I mean, keep having a positive mindset, keep telling myself I'm a champion, let's take care of itself. You made a big equipment change riding with a helmet now. Was it difficult to adjust to that? No, I used to ride with a helmet, you know, back in high school and stuff, so, but when I put it on, I mean, it's like it's not even there. I mean, because I'm there to ride my bull, I ain't thinking about a daggum helmet, I'm thinking about riding my bull, and I just block all that out. Well, best of luck today. I know everyone's cheering for you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank everybody. Craig.